So, Cat's Lair. With the two teases that Super 7 has now posted, I imagine that we're all assuming that it's going to be the Cat Slayer and it's going to be for the Ultimates line. Um, all I can say is that, you know, if it's in scale, then the Burbles are rather busy at the moment trying to get it finished. <laughs> um, you know, we have the Thunder Tank and it's a thing of beauty, but now for me checking measurements, the paws would have to be at least 20 inches wide for good clearance. That's if this is going to be scaled to match up to the cartoon as close as we can get it. Um, now, you know, this is this impossible? Of course not. But we'll probably be looking at a base about 50 inches wide or more just to fit that in. And to me personally, the tank doesn't have to come out of the pole. I mean, it would be amazing, but to me it's not a requirement for a good Thundercats base. Um, I mean, let's look at LJN. When they had the line originally in the 80s, the tank didn't come out from under the paw. And as a kid, to me, that never bothered me. I'm fine with it being parked front and center, parked across the other side of the bridge. I mean, you know, if that came. However, it needs to be to have this massive display piece. Because um, I'm guessing it could be more of something of a dramatic backdrop piece, something cool to pose the cats around. I mean, as, as a full size layer, I can't imagine it being any shorter than four feet. And, you know, of course, then there's the cost and the space that it'll take up. Um, toy play sets and vehicles are becoming bigger. Look at Snake Mountain and the new Eternia, the His Tank and the Dragonfly, all exceptional pieces. And some, you know, you may have to rotate out of display off and on to be able to, you know, have them in your collection. But with those coming, it does show you that Cat's Lair, as big as imposing as it may be, is extremely possible if the fans back it. Oh, well, I, I, you know, in my thoughts, I figure we'll have more details in the coming weeks to SDCC. It's only three weeks away. And usually Super 7 reveals something on Tuesdays, like today, another teaser. Um, they, I mean, shoot, they could go next Tuesday and go ahead and just show the whole thing and say, here's what's coming. Here's what we're going to do. Um, and then, then at that point, once we all see the size and the cost, and what it's going to look like. Um, I figure we can all either hooray, fuss, cringe, or cry based on which direction you decide to go. Myself, I will say I am super excited about this reveal and the details, and I say bring it on. Because if this comes out, I imagine that we could possibly get Mumra's Tomb. I'd love a Tower of Omens. I mean, it just opens doors but then again, it also opens doors that where are you going to put it? Um, but I figure we'll figure out somewhere for ours. One last thing, Brian, if you're listening, in one of your interviews, you had stated that the Burbles would probably be coming, but it would be much later down the line. The Burbles help build the Cat Slayer. I feel like we need them to come on. They're going to need to help somehow. Um, so that's my thoughts on the cat slayer. I know it's not very informative. It's not a lot of details, but I like to give my opinion on it. We're going to see, see soon enough what's coming of it. Um, if it's, you know, one of those crowd funders or if, if super seven is going to be like, we're selling it, however many sold is how many's made. And that's it. We're all going to find out soon enough. I'm Rob with toy hunters hollow. We post mainly on Instagram. Please follow us there. Follow us here. Like the video. Hope you enjoy the content. I will work on creating more sooner. But in the end, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>